going to just four. tell you. Did I, give you I see that uh, we have Kiana and also Rashawn, who's hanging out with Alexa Sky, yes, and they yes. are high in the sky. Yes. <laughs> What's going on over there? I got a place for y'all, my okay. babies over there. Thank you. Do your thing. Right. Do your thing, thank you. sis. Thank you, thank you so, so much. so good. Again, yes, and she said it. You know her from her stint on the hit series VH1's Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. And now she's here to talk life, business moves, and being a new mommy, please welcome Alexa Sky. Hey! Hey! Welcome to the circle, Thank you for yes. having me. Yes, yes, yes. So tell us a little bit about being a new mommy and how that has been so life-changing for you. Honestly, I didn't expect that I was going to be a mom at 23. Right. Well, But it it's a blessing, yes. and it's an amazing feeling. Just having the bond with my beautiful daughter mm -hmm. is like the best feeling. I could be having the worst day, and just look at her precious face yeah. and just start like, oh, I love you so much. Oh, they make you feel like that, honey. Then they turn 11. And right. Like, hey. I know. <laughs> and then they grow. Right? You know, every day I'm like, I cannot wait. She gets, she gets older. She gets older. No. But now I'm like, let me enjoy the baby stage Enjoy now. it, because it, it really does. I hate when people say it goes so fast, but it really does go so fast. Yeah. How has it changed you as a woman? Well, I don't get any sleep. Mm -hmm. I'm a working mom. I'm a single mom. So, it's like, my schedule is a little hectic. Yeah. I had to hire an in-home nanny because mm -hmm. it was like, I'll be at the grocery store. I would have to leave the groceries in the car because I can't take her and the groceries. Right. So, right. it was just like... A lot. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. But for, the, for our viewers who don't know, Fetty Wap is your baby's father. Right. Um, and whose personality do, do she has? Is it yours or his? She has mine. <laughs> of course she, she has mine. <laughs> <laughs> she has mine. That's yeah. all me all day. Really? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Her personality right now is amazing. Like, yeah. Now, off air, you good. mentioned to me that when you were pregnant, you was watching the show. Yes. Now, I would sit there pregnant because, you know, I'd be in the house all day. Right. I'm like, I'm going to be on that show one day. Yeah. And I'm yeah. sitting right here. So, right. Right. you know, when you speak things into existence, yes. it happens. Come like, on it now. Really does. Yes. It really does. Uh, let's go back a little bit. Um, very troubling time because your, your daughter was born prematurely, Alea Grace. Yes. Three months. Mm. Well, I didn't find out I was pregnant until almost two months. Wow. Okay. Um, I was real sick. I thought like, I had a bad kidney infection. I was there. The doctor came in. He was like, you're positive. I'm like, positive for what? Right, right. <laughs> He's like, right. positive right. pregnancy test. Right. I'm like, okay. So at that very moment, I decided to, you know, go forward with my pregnancy. Um, and then I actually went into labor on New Year's oh, my goodness. out of nowhere. And I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. You know, it was my first pregnancy. It was like I went to the bathroom, and it just was like, I get my water broke. Oh, my gosh. So I had to get rushed to the hospital. Um, I had to get a steroid shot. Right after that, they kept her in until the 4th. She mm -hmm. came in. She was like, I'm out of here. Mm -hmm. um, but it was very traumatic for me. I had seven blood transfusions. I was in surgery for seven hours. Oh I had an emergency C-section because I had erupted. Mm -hmm. So um, she was born at one pound. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you, I mean, you are, both of you are, are miracles. Mm -hmm. Yes. You are definitely She's miracles. definitely a miracle baby. Yes. And she's a fighter. Yeah. And just seeing her fight is so emotional for me. Mm -hmm. But yes. seeing her fight, like, it would be times I would walk in. It was one time she stopped breathing. It was just, like, very traumatic for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. How were you able, I mean, she was in the NICU, while you're trying to make sure that she has life, how were you making sure that you mm -hmm. were living your life to be there for her? Well, I'm a single mother, like I said, so I had to make sure, like, okay, well, I have to snap back into mommy mode, but mm -hmm. I also have to provide for her, so I had to get back into Alexis. So at the same time, I was a mother, but I had to get back in work mode. It was very, you know, hard mm -hmm. because I was being attacked so much by social media for working, and this was my life before I got pregnant, so it was like... I didn't know what everybody wanted me to do. Right, mm -hmm. right. You know. I, I want you to describe your first time and how did it feel when you first held her? Well, I didn't get to hold her right away. Mm -hmm. So that right. was very emotional for me because right at, like when I woke up out of surgery, they were like, here's your baby. I'm right. like, I didn't even know I had a kid at the time because right. so, I woke up from the surgery. Yep. And then the first time I held her, she was like literally the size of my hand, like from right here to right here. And she was on my chest, like mm -hmm. on machines. So, you know, it was very emotional for me. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead. People have a lot to say about you after giving birth to your baby. Um, Alea, Grace. Yes. Um, why do you think that is, and why do you think there's so much scrutiny around your birth of your child? I don't think people... I, people have always talked about me, mm -hmm. and then just me becoming a mother, I feel like it made it worse because I feel like I'm supposed to stop doing what I'm, you know, I was doing before because I became a mom. And I don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. I feel like this was my life before and this is how I provide for my child. As long as my child's healthy, taken care of, not harming her, I don't feel like it's, you know, an issue right. with my lifestyle. I host parties for, you know, a living. Mm -hmm. I was on TV. I mean, I take sexy pictures. Mm -hmm. It's not my fault. Right, right, right. You know? right. So, you know, what, did, what do you think about the, the online scrutiny and harassment when it comes to 
to women? Because people, I mean, your name is in a song. Everybody's like, you're, I mean, you're obviously drop dead gorgeous. Thank like, you. You have a, a baby by a rapper. Like, all of those things, when people hear that, they automatically think negative. Right. Why do you think that there's such a double standard? And do you even care? Honestly, I used to care. But I had to say, why would I, why should I care? Mm -hmm. They're going to talk about you regardless. Mm -hmm. So you might as well make them talk. Yeah. And that's how I feel. So I'm going to keep being me and being the best that I can be at what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. And you're doing some amazing things. Because if you do something good, they talk. You do something bad, they talk. Yeah. Come on now. So, yeah. Hey. yeah. What, sustains you, what sustains you spiritually? You know, staying connected to God. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I had to get connected to God because if I would wake up every day and read these comments, I probably would want to kill myself at right, this point. Right, but yeah, right. I know who I am, and as long as I accept myself, what everybody else thinks doesn't matter. Yeah. Right. Real quickly, tell us about your new skin um, skin line. Uh, it's Coco Me Coco Mommy. Mommy, yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay, so basically I was pregnant, and I did not want to get stretch marks. Okay. So I was, like, <laughs> Googling a hundred ways not to get stretch marks, so exfoliating was one of the main things they said. So I was just Googling different skin things. Okay. And I created my own scrub. So I had body scrubs. So my whole pregnancy, I did scrubs. So yes. I did not have any stretch marks, even nice. though it doesn't really count because I wasn't pregnant for so long. But right. it did help my skin. I kept it moisturized. So basically the scrub, once you exfoliate in the shower, it turns into like an oil. Yeah. Nice. So it kept my skin Beautiful. Nice beautiful. Good, good. Good for you. So that's yes. why it's called Coco Me and Mommy because you can use it on your kids because okay. it's organic. So it's Coco Me and Mommy. Yes. yes. Come on. It's vegan, organic, and cruelty free. Yes. yes. That's a beautiful thing. Yes. And so are you. Yes. Thank you. And you keep pressing forward no matter what. Thank you. Do your thing, Alexis mm -hmm. Sky. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We appreciate you again for coming down. If you'd like to follow Alexis, follow us on our social media platforms first because we had to get the first dig. And okay. then you can get to her. All right. <laughs>